Welcome back to another Joy Toy review. In this review, we're going to take a look at Joy Toy's new Free Truism 19th Legion Ghost Squad. This is actually this is actually the box. This window box, very nice artwork here on the right side. You can see mostly all three figures. Character three's head here, and there's figure two. Face is kind of covered a little bit, and then. You can see the entire figure one. Down here at the bottom, they have the Chinese with Battle of the Stars. And here's the name tag for this team. You may have noticed a typo, which is a 19 ST, should be 19th, not ST. So that's definitely a typo in this package, which actually isn't the uh, first time because if you purchased. Anna, which goes to this set, her, <laughs> she doesn't even have the Ghost Squad on her box. She has this company of Net Her. And I guess that's Grace, maybe. Gracie. Should be I. I'm not sure what that is. And if you look on the back of the package, she has pink hair, but the figure comes with gold hair. But I do have that figure review up and ready to watch if you're interested. You want to watch the video for both of these sets because I'm sorry to say um, there's issues. So it will be very important that you take a look at this video because there's some things you need to know what to watch out for. And watch out for Anna's video because she has some issues with her, her helmet head. So check that out. So, let's finish taking a look at the packaging, which is nice, except for the typo, obviously. Top of the box has a Battle of the Stars, warning for children under three. These are recommended for ages 15 and up. The bottom has Legion Ghost Squad. We have some product parameters, contact information, UPC. On this side, we have the free Truzium logo, but I don't think that's the correct I think that's Free Truth Alliance from the Wasteland Hunters, but I could be wrong. Here's Joy Toy on this side. And obviously the back of the box shows all the accessories. You get that really amaz amazing weapons crate and is one of my cool colors. It's almost like an orange. I love that. That's really cool. Um, it's really interesting that this has some new parts. What I mean by that is that drone. It comes with a drone. This is cool. And I believe it has a computer to control the drone. But we'll take a look at that when we look at the accessories. Okay, so I'm really disappointed in probably can tell my voice on this set because I was already looking forward to it. First off, I think I wish it was more orange, but it's leaning towards more of a yellow than orange. So this is the box. There is tape on the box here and on the side now. They've definitely added tape to the three packs, but I haven't seen it on the female pack yet. So these basically come in a clamshell. They're interlocked. There's no tape, no ties. They just slip out like so. Here's all your accessories, which we'll take a look at here shortly. The figures pop off the top. Well, <clears throat> the first thing I noticed when I opened this thing was the smell. What do you mean? What do I mean by smell? I smell gasoline. Did I say gasoline? Yes, I did. Actual, if you pump your car and you get gas on your hand from the smell from the pump. These things smell like gasoline. Ooh, this baby stink like gas. That's my first impression of these. Why do they smell like gasoline? I've never had a Joy Toy set to smell like gas. So, you know, as I was looking over these figures, I was like, why? Why does he smell like gasoline? These figures are stiff. I can't even move the arms. These figures need to be heated maybe you know exosuit removed if you can 
we'll get to that in a second. Here's what I mean by, it's some kind of, why it smells like gasoline? I have no idea. That is the smell. But what I think is happening here, if we take out this knife, if you look at that knife, look at that. If it wasn't for the smell, I wouldn't have known this. That looks like a rusty knife, right? I think it's some kind of oil, because it's real tacky. It's not silver, it's like a rusty knife. I thought it was kind of cool because it looked, you know, pretty evil, right? But I think what's happening here with this set is they're in such a hurry to pump out these figures left and right that they're just pushing things out the door. So I think they're dipping these things in some kind of oil or something. I'm trying to, let me see which one of these figures have the, oh, here we go. So if you take this figure two here, I'm not totally sure if you can see this or not. Did you hear that? I barely even move. These things are stuck. But you can see right down between this thigh pad here. There is some like texture in the in the pants, it's like in, in the sculpt. It's like a how your pants is wavy. But if you look down inside it, if you can see that. It, there's actually something in there that's shiny and like the little crevices of the pants. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up. I can't even separate the legs. If you can see that right, Let's see if I can find something here. Like right down in between these two straps because of the way his pants are sculpted. There is something shiny down there. It's like there was like a, like you spilled Coke on it or something. A Coca-Cola pop. Yeah, so I think that these things have this, they just have this feel to them, this wet, oily feel to them. It's like they just dumped them down into something. Then they put them somewhere. <laughs> There's nothing on the, on the um, packaging to reveal that, but it sure looks like it. So I don't know. It's one thing I want you guys to watch out for. Don't be smoking around these things, I guess. If you do smoke. Second thing is this these head sculpts. He just kind of kind of evil. But this is these heads this head sculpt right here at least looks like you know the very first crap Russian figures they came out with. You know, I'm not gonna hold them too bad for their first figures because every you know every company starts out gotta learn their get their groove, but not way down the line they are now. Not after some of these amazing figures that they come out for, come out with like these guys, you know, you just you just don't do this. Unfortunately, I can't show you articulation because I didn't took these straight out of the box to show you guys for this review, and these things are stuck. Like I can't move them. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. This is going to take some serious heating with a hair dryer. So, but we're going to take a look at them the best we can. And there is some other issues I will show you in this video that you need to watch out for. If you do buy this set, you want to make sure you get the additional parts that's missing or replacement parts. So here's the first character. He has this nice head sculpt. I like the hair. He looks kind of evil, like a one of those crazy dudes. It's kind of like the guy you don't want to be your buddy. He'll screw you over if you get a chance. But... But the face, the eyes, the hair, it makes me look like those Russian figures that are just garbage. Um, and these actually have a lot of potential. But this, this face alone is terrible. The paint on this is not good. Hopefully that you guys can see this. So it's like a, he has... The excess suit that's pretty much stuck to him. These are the tightest ones I've ever seen. That's why I think they were dipped. I can't even move them. Look, I can't even move any excess suits. They're just stuck. But he has the orange or yellowish, more yellow than orange. They actually painted part of the excess suit here black. I know it would be all one color. It's kind of interesting they went that direction. Um, he has a scarf on that has. There's there's some kind of residue on this thing on these things, so we're just gonna take a look at them. Three sixty, 
because there's a lot to talk about to get to. I don't want to make this video too, too long. Okay, this is gun holster here is painted brown. And you see the back of the uh, actual exosuit. This is, you know, wouldn't be normally painted all one color, but it's painted black. So it kind of mix up the colors to break up the suit a little bit. Kind of works a little bit. Looks good. Actually, he has that knife I just showed you, but it's got oil, <laughs> gas, it smells like gasoline. Uh, very tight. Um, so, articulation-wise, it's pretty much the same for almost all Joy 2 figures. But, so we're going to go through this. So, the head here is on a ball joint. I'm going to have to more or less tell you what, you, what you're getting because I can't really show you. But there is something different that you need to see. This is on a ball joint. Just the head. They have changed these figures here. Normally, they have this kind of neck and this, right? That's what we're used to. Now, this is the same kind of neck that they have for the female figures. That's different now. So that's what's different there. So that's the only difference in the articulation of these figures from all the other Joy Toy sets. Find it interesting. I found out a way to cut cost. That's what I think. But all the figures, all the male figures are like that now, for this set at least. It's going to be interest, interesting to see what happens in the near future. Oh. Put his. Oh, his things are just. You don't want to touch them. <laughs> I just. They're disgusting. So he has that one new neck. He has ball joint arms. They will go 360 and they'll go up, you know, and out. Like, the, you know, like so. I don't want to do too much. So I want to break them. Um, they have been. Um, of course, you can get, you know, more of the uh, rise on his arms if you remove the suit and his upper arm guards. All this gear is going to uh, hinder your articulation. He has bendable elbows, or get your 90 degrees. This hand here, yeah, it goes like this. And this hand on this side goes like this, in and out. And like I said, I can't do anything. I would spend hours, I would probably spend hours trying to heat these things and I hope not to break one of them. Trust articulation is there, but you can't use it because of the of the um, vest and the, and the exosuit. He does a half crunch and he has a waist swivel. He has thigh articulation here. He will sit at a degree, but um, you know, it's going to get hindered tremendously from all the gear. And I can't do it because of the stuck joints. They do have double jointed knees. And the articulation on his ankles will pivot down. And he skipped out on the toe articulation. And he has two holes on his feet. So that's the difference in this set. They cheaped out on the neck and the feet. So that probably could save him some money and cost you guys the same amount of money for figures that you thought you were going to get. So that's figure one. Here's figure two. This is a little better head sculpt that you expect. So do a 360 this guy. If I get a chance, I'm not guaranteeing it, but in the future, if I, whenever I get these guys, and hopefully I do get these guys in working order, maybe pop another video up showing you guys these things cleaned up and working without being broken. So this figure three, this, this is actually a new head sculpt. It's a blonde head sculpt with a goatee. I'm betting you're gonna have to strip him down, heat up the joints. I am not a fan of putting my figures in water.
especially with hot water. You don't necessarily have to use hot water because if you use the hairdryer for the joints, you won't have to use the hot water, which warps your plastic and can fade your, your paint. But I'm betting if you guys get these in this condition as I do, you're probably going to have to wash these things with Dawn dishwashing liquid to get this whatever is on here. Oil, gas, I don't know what they dip these in. I'm curious to see if anybody else is honest enough to make a video showing exactly what I just experienced. These were brand new from a U.S. seller that I always buy my George Doy figures from. So this is not the seller. This is actually from a company that I buy from all the time. This is the very first time. So it's not them. And the package was sealed when I bought it. Okay, so fortunately we can't spend too much time on the figures because of the stuck joints. And the... Um, but we'll show you guys something real quick. Here is all the guys together. I can't really get them to stand because the feet are everything's stuck. So I'm gonna do this the best I can. There's all three guys. Um and then here's Anna that comes with that team. Now, Anna doesn't smell like gasoline. She doesn't have that oil dip problem. Her, I mean, she does have her issues, which you have to see my video to find out. But she doesn't smell like gas. Her joints ain't stuck. She's perfectly fine. And, see, I can bend her arms. I can bend her elbows, her knees. I didn't do nothing to this figure. I mean, it's perfect. But what I wanted to point out was, if you guys have this bounty hunter figure, you may be able to use it with this if you want to. You have no point place for this figure here. You can put it in this with this team, maybe if you like. Kind of fits right in. I just wish this team was more orange than yellow. Here's what it looks like with one of the other guys. If you're interested, thought that'd be something to bring up. Okay, now that we looked at the figures, let's take a look at uh, the accessories. See the same thing. Pop this up. And here's the accessories. So, yeah, so you get three of these guns. Painted pretty cool. It has the yellow and the, the tan on them. Same guns we've seen before, but you know, they're nicely painted. Mm, they don't smell like gas. Nope. So you get three of these. Nice looking guns. Very cool. Okay, so you get. You get one of these guns. There is no yellow on this gun. It's just tan and black. Alright. You get this really cool I'm trying to get this thing out of package. Rocket launcher. We've seen this rocket launcher before. It is with some of the US Armed Force sets. It's mostly time black. This is the first time it's been painted that I know of. Yeah, there's no gas smell that oh, maybe a little bit. See there's something in there. If you guys can see right in there, that crack. There's some kind of thing. So they dip these into something. Betting because they're trying to defeat their joint problems. Just painting like in a tan with some yellow, some red, and black handles. Does ways up on the front. We'll take a look at this again once we uh, get the other piece out for it. Here is the drone that comes with. Very nice, done in black. The uh, fans or blades are painted. 
Mm, copperish, light copperish, silver ish color. The bottom of it has a handle. So maybe you're figuring this, like, hold it to launch it. Pretty cool. This is a very, very cool accessory for action figures. Okay. So we're going to save the helmets for last because there's an issue we need to talk about with the helmets. So here's one of my favorite things, which is these really cool weapons boxes. So they're done in like a yellow with the caution on it. The dirty wash. See there's some more of that. There's something on there. So you can see all through these joints. They dipped them in something. These come out yeah, of stock. Yeah, they're definitely washed. There's something on there. They open up. They do have nice hinges. It's sticky. You see some gear in here, which we're done by. That's what that looks like. You see it sticking? There's something on there. Yeah, that stinks. Can't believe I'm sniffing toys. <laughs> so, put that over here. So, let's bring back this guy. It come, in this box, you get a little rocket. It's painted silver. It does go in here. But I wouldn't recommend pushing that thing all the way down. It will get stuck, but that's what that's for. Okay, and just so you guys know, your rocket launcher will fit in your case. Your drone does not, fortunately. Just thought I'd bring that up. Okay. Also, here you, I'm God. Not sure if this was an error, but I got six pistols. So, all the same pistols. You can see them there. Got six of them. And let's see, one attempt, and they fit nice, and they fit nice in there. But there's no other holsters on the figures that would require them to have two each. But the perfect holster, perfect pistol. Like I said, this could have been an okay set. So there's six of those. Is out of the way. And then you get one hand, one fist hand. That's it. It looks like a left hand. And then I got this little tablet, I guess. Painted tan. First, I thought it was a laptop, but it's a. There's no sticker, no paint on here. This is what I guess is to control your drone. So, yeah, that's another bad thing here. Hey, gotta put a sticker for 70 bucks, man. Put a sticker on this. All I'm saying is demand more for your hard earned money. Especially when you're out there risking your life now with COVID-19. And these companies don't cheap an hour on you when you're spending 70 to $80 for three action figures. Demand more is all I'm saying. Sure, money though. Do what you want to do. But for me, I think us as collectors need to stop demanding more from all the companies. 
especially now that you're out there working and risking your life every day, get COVID-19, you get two shoulder joints and two elbow joints. That's all you get. You don't even get enough joints to replace an entire set, one figure. They cheapened out on that too. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to downplay Joy Toy. I very much enjoy Joy Toy figures and I collect them. But like I said, it's time to demand more for your money. It's getting ridiculous. So, also, you get these three helmets. Now, if you notice, these are the three helmets that they come with in the box. Black with a orange visor and a logo paint on the helmet. The helmet is meant to get over their heads, but they don't fit. And that's orange. That's what the color I wish this was. And they changed it and the helmets don't fit. But Joy Toy at least was fixing that issue. Now if you buy these figures, this is something you guys need to watch out for. The kind of thing is the yeah uh, company I bought them from and I think I heard Locker Toys were taking orders are giving you guys replacement helmets. So you make sure you guys get these when you order this set if you do decide to purchase it and go through you know the issues that I may be having so you definitely want to correct helmets now I'm not sure if they changed the mold we're gonna find out made them bigger they kind of look bigger but definitely changed the color okay so and this is you know this is actually Anna's helmet so it's yellow so it will match the replacement helmets But the replacement helmets are basically the same helmet, different color, and they actually fit somewhat better. They stick go down mostly. It's not an exact fit. I'm not sure what's going on here, these guys. It's not a perfect fit either. Oh, now the head's stuck because of all that goo that's on there. So, guys, I don't know what to say. Very disappointed in these figures. Um, hope you guys this helped you guys out if you didn't decide to buy these or not. Yeah, see, that's not fitting either. You can see that they don't fit there is no one online saying anything about this I don't understand what's going on so so here's the last one yeah the chin sticks out <laughs> and I got issues with her helmet too so Yeah, so this is the other one, and this is the replacements. This is the first time I've actually tried this, so that's why I was surprised the helmets didn't fit. I actually thought I was giving them credit ahead of time for replacement helmets, and all they really did was replace it because of the color of the visor. Very disappointed. Okay, so do I recommend these figures? No. Again, they look cool. They could maybe potentially potentially be a good set of figures, but you're not gonna be able to use the helmets. Um, they look, I don't know, very disappointing. Um, these things go for 
$69.99 to $79.99 and up for a third party like eBay and stuff like that. You will pay more for them. They're not worth it. They are not worth the money. Do they, they have some cool new accessories, but they're just not worth it. I hope for this helps you guys determine if you want to buy this set. If you do, uh, happy hunting. Hope you find what you're looking for. And uh, if you guys like this video and the information I'm providing to you, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys for watching.